about a phrase that was used on a platform by one of my, our um, Caucasian brothers. And it was, I don't remember his name, um, Lecrae, who is a music artist and a Christian music artist and the CEO of Chick-fil-A. And he used the term white blessing, not white privilege, but white blessing. And what we don't realize is when we are not led by the Holy Spirit, we say things that are fleshly. We say things that, you know, come from within, from us, but it doesn't necessarily come from the Holy Spirit. And the other issue is people are just ignorant and there are a lot, a number of our white brothers and sisters who lead ministries who have majority white, all white, maybe a sprinkle of black people who are a member of their church. And then you also have pastors who um, who just live in a bubble. They're not aware of what goes on around them. And as Christians, it is our job to empathize. It is our job to stand for, for injustice and, and for righteousness. And when we don't and when we ignore it, I can't see how God is pleased in that. Um, so I think his comment, of course, I disagree with it. I'm, I'm grateful that he apologized for that. But again, I think it's out of ignorance. I think it's out of lack of knowledge of not being in tune with those that don't look like you. So as we are living Christ daily, we should inquire of the Holy Spirit. We should not be led by the flesh. We should not um, say what we feel and not anything that's contrary to the word of God. There is no such thing as white blessings. Um, there is a such thing as white privilege. However, we as Christians must pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who, who don't know, who aren't aware. That is our job to pray for them that they see the light. Because we we seen, I once was lost, but now now I'm fine, was blind, now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. But it is our job to pray for those people that they will be led by the Holy Spirit and that they will see. So that's just my take on it.